and KN Tripathi who is the former minister for rural Jharkhand he too has collected the form for the Congress presidency so we are getting you all the details about who are the key people who have uh, collected this form so far and Pallavi Ghosh our senior editor is tracking all these developments from the grand old party uh, Pallavi KN Tripathi who else Yes, he's a former minister in Jharkhand. He's just picked up his nomination forms. Nomination ends at 3 o'clock. Tomorrow is the final day of the nominations to be actually submitted. Today, it hasn't been uh, because Mr. Madhusudan Mistri, who is the chief election officer and the returning officer, had to excuse himself because of personal reasons. So for now, on record, we have at least three people who picked up the nomination papers. One, of course, Mr. Shashi Tharoor, who will file his nomination at 12.15 tomorrow at AICC. Second, Digvijay Singh picked up 10 sets again he's going to file his domination paper tomorrow and third is mr k n tripathi former minister of jharkhand he also has picked up his form he's going to fill, fill up the domination papers tomorrow the rider in all of this really anusha is that each one who submits the nomination has to get the support of at least 10 delegates and finally for the mystery man mr pavan bansal picked up two <laughs> nomination papers yeah. who is it for is there someone who's going to make a wild card entry that's yeah. going to be the interesting thing uh palavi as you get us uh, all the you know surround sound and what exactly is happening around the president elections Ashok Gehlot unceremoniously had to really go out but when this electoral process really happens uh, I'm curious to know and I'm sure our viewers would want to know what kind of quote-unquote electoral process it is really going to be would it be all the you know booth level workers really voting how the votes will be counted how much of an election in the real sense it is really going to be do we know that but well, in, on paper, Anusha, it does sound very nice and very democratic. 9,000 delegates which mm. come in from all the states. And depending on the size of the state, you get the number of delegates. For example, Uttar Pradesh gets 1,000 delegates. So that means 1,000 votes go there. And this time round, because there has been a backdrop of, you know, fraudulent voters, this time round, they've introduced an I card of a, with a QR code. So whoever goes and files the nomination papers or votes, the person, the candidate also knows who has voted for them because that's what needs to be scanned. Mm. Those those I cards have already been given to the Gandhis and also to Dr. Manmohan Singh. Now, the problem and the catch over here is that there is always going to be a whisper campaign. Mm -hmm. I know on record, Mrs. Gandhi has made it very clear that she is neutral, she has no favorites. But I think the incidents which we've seen in the last 48 hours goes on to show that she very clearly has a say in who should be contesting and who should mm -hmm. not be contesting. Mm -hmm. And this is all going to be based on perception. If the messaging yeah. goes across that Mrs. Gandhi <coughs> or the Gandhis are not very fond of a candidate A, it's highly unlikely the delegates would want to vote for that person A. And which is why in that sense, I guess a little credence to the BJP criticism that yes, they are having elections unlike other political parties, but is this a real election? Is this a real election? What kind of election it's going to be? And Will this be really the shift of power in the Congress party from the Gandhis to a non-Gandhi face? 